Oh yeah, your first Solstice Games. Wow, I remember my first time. I was 23 and I had just found out I was allergic to cashews. Hi, welcome. I am Squats with a fist. Well, I want to talk to you guys about the unconscious mind. And a really good way to do that is to give some examples. And probably the best way to do that is with some examples of a fictional character. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, a fictional character doesn't have an unconscious mind. But you might be wrong. Hell, I might be wrong. But an unconscious mind is one that is elusive and it is present in our everyday. I really enjoy uh, observing people and I think that this is a really a good example of an observation because no one's going to take this personal. So we're going to be looking at the human sides of this fictional character that is having a very tough time with competition. It took a whole bunch of people winning to get to making you. Yes, that's right. Sex is a form of competition. And you were made out of competition. Your parents did not just so happen to be fate and destined locked. There could have been any number of situations where you did not exist. So gut impulses are going to be something that are <laughs> very dominant in how she expresses herself. I know that she does not wish to express herself this way because she's a very caring person in all the other episodes. And we're going to see her unconscious mind at work here. Cool. Uh, I don't think that I should participate. Oh no, you'll be great. You'll fit right in. No, um, I get, I get a little intense about competition. So she's she's conscious of the fact that she gets very competitive. We can see that right now. Let's keep going. Let's let's see what is, what is exactly the the problem with that. Do you think there's a problem with competition? I love this show. <laughs> so you can see that her teammate loses. It has nothing to do with her, but someone that's associated with her lost. It was Trey, by the way, and uh, they were doing push-ups with somebody else on their back, which that's pretty tough. I, I'm not too sure she's thinking about that in, in her conscious mind. That that's a really tough performance to do but he lost and <laughs> she goes off into the corner and she stamps like a child because in essence her team is losing that means that she's losing it doesn't seem like she's okay with losing slow down Abby speed up class come on let him win are you kidding me right now we had that. It's a bullshit call. See you in the parking lot. Everything okay? <laughs> this is how we play. We know each other. We go way back, right? Okay. Next event, right? Now, I love <laughs> this scene, and it's so comical. <sighs> it's comical <laughs> because I know people like Abby that get very competitive and it's easy for them to lose themselves in the moment. Now, if I was to explain a little bit about the unconscious mind so we can get a, a glimpse of what, what's going on here. The unconscious mind 
has a lot to do with who you are. And the way that I like to explain the unconscious mind is that it can almost be a mirror image of who you are in your waking life. When you're walking around, when you're doing things that are important to you, when you are scratching a mosquito bite, you're aware that you're itching and it takes an unconscious, it, it, it doesn't take a very conscious effort to know that you're itching. You scratch and that's the conscious part, but the unconscious part would be, you know, satiating that that gut feeling that you need an it, that you need to itch so let let's see what happens in her in her unconscious mind again come on class come on come on, come on class come on hey. oh, oh, hey. yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah betty you guys come eat my ass one and a time oh why not come on i'm so tickets <laughs> See, this has got to be this is gonna be pretty uncomfortable for uh, other people. But basically, what she's doing is she's scratching her itch. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who this person is in real life because, like I said, this is a fictional character. This fictional character has the urge to rub it in somebody else's face that they lost. They are the loser. So. If we're thinking about um, a mirror opposite, you know, when it comes to a conscious thought, obviously, and this is to me, and I've been studying the the unconscious recently and for a while now, the conscious thought is that when she wins, she feels very happy and she loves to win. Now the unconscious mind would be the mirror opposite of that, right? It means that she hates to lose so somewhere she got it in her mind that losing was a bad thing losing is something that should never happen and the unconscious it's made up of past memories so if you had something horrific happen to you or something traumatizing happen to you it stays in your unconscious and when some similarity happens to come along in your waking life like Abby losing which she doesn't like obviously uh, she acts out in a very primitive way so <laughs> she's asking this person to kiss her ass <laughs> uh, she's asking the whole team to kiss her ass <laughs> what what's going on no I'm, I'm i was kidding i was totally kidding around you guys are great <laughs> that was more of a conscious thought right there at the end like she came back to reality she was like oh shit i'm doing that thing again Whew. You guys are great. I'm trying to team build here. <laughs> what I she's what she's saying is I I'm not going to acknowledge that. And that makes what when you don't acknowledge uh you're acting out, that pushes your unconscious that pushes your unconscious to act out even more. So, what she's doing is she's really she's really building up um pressure by not acknowledging that she has an issue, that it is a problem, and that it may get her in trouble. That happens to a lot of people, and it it can manifest itself in a lot of different ways. But we're just we're just analyzing Abby here, and she's fictional, so no need to get personal. Uh, you can do it to yourself if you want. Think about how you act, and maybe. You have questions about why you do the things you do sometimes when you're upset or when uh, you're triggered. 
Because she's obviously triggered. <laughs> she's obviously triggered. Let's see what happens next. Okay. <laughs> so when she wins, she feels like a hot commodity. That's got to be pretty uplifting. That's got to be a part of your conscious mind. Just like scratching an itch. Like your mosquito bite, you know? Um, feels really good to scratch that itch. You're like, yes. Happy with this outcome. I'm going to do it. I'm going to win i feel great about it but it's that drive and and when the opposite happens to you is when the unconscious is most likely to show itself so let's get back to abby because this is pretty comedic what's happening here and if you look back on your life you know you may very well find some comedy in how you act it out because i know that i definitely do and if you don't you're not looking into the unconscious mind close enough i am gonna knock your big swinging titties into next tuesday oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here is what is called a freudian slip she's a competitive person right Females typically look at other females, and what they do is they compare themselves to others. So what she did in her competitive mode was talk about her titties. And who can't help but be competitive about, you know, other people's looks when you're trying to win yourself? That's how you were born, circling back. Uh, you looked your parents looked a certain way to your other parent and they won they both won they both decided that this is a winning combo and proceed to make you so if you think about it in the time that it took for man to first walk upright to the time that it took your parents to make you and don't think too hard about that <laughs> that could be an unconscious thought let's leave that in the unconscious uh that uh that makes a very long line of competition where let's say let's say let's say abby thought about that let's say abby thought that you know the the competition uh of another woman uh made her feel insecure and she had to do something about it. She had to win. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she wants to be a mom. Maybe she just um, maybe she just finds losing to be absolutely horrific. But any but but those two things could contribute to a person acting like this. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I did it. Abby, no! <laughs> Man, that girl got creamed. <laughs> That's too bad for her. But thank thankfully enough, she's a fictional character too. It's been fun talking about the unconscious mind. Um, I want to do it more. And I would really appreciate it if you would like and you would subscribe to this video. Uh, really. You, uh, the reason that I'm doing uh, this subject, the, the unconscious mind, is because it has a lot of potential to create uh, a, a push-up effect. Let's do this again sometime and try to, try to unlock some secrets that should be better known. I think, I think that this stuff should be taught in school, really. Um, I, isn't it crazy how we were never taught about the unconscious mind? in school isn't it crazy how we were never taught to balance a checkbook in school it is to me and i wonder that all the time and maybe that's part of my unconscious uh, uh starting to become conscious but i mean uh, hey thank you very much squats with a fist make yourself better every single day that you can and i'll see you next time